Hey guys, this is Aaron from Geeky Lemon Development and welcome to our weekly tutorials. And this week I'll be showing you how to add a scroll view in storyboards in Xcode. Now I've been getting a few emails and a few comments from people simply saying that they're finding it difficult or finding it unable to add scroll views into their projects when they're using storyboards. So this is a quick video here to show you how to add well simply a scroll view in storyboard. So we click select a single view application and I simply name it scroll in storyboard and make sure you selected the use of storyboard so it enables you to have it and then press next so we can create this project so then once it's loaded here drop the menus here and people are finding it difficult because there's no XIB and storyboards version of XIB is this main storyboard that storyboards so if you just click on it and you're it's very similar to a normal XIB but if you notice at the top here there's no files owner so people find it difficult to link up their connections so what you simply need to do is just simply like before just carry on adding the outlet for your scroll view so the IB outlet UI scroll view asterisk and I name it scroller and it will be a um, semicolon and save it and in the view control that M just like before just after the super view did load in our view did load section here we do bracket the name of our scroller which we named it scroller space set scroll enabled and we simply type out yes in the ball bracket semicolon and again we do bracket name of our scroller again and then we do set content size and in the CG here we do CG size make and in the float here the width of it which on the iPhone is 320 and the height we do something quite big so it enables us to scroll for a while we'll do a thousand and after the bracket there we we'll do another bracket and a semicolon and save that so it repeats the same process just like normal we do all the coding but as you would normally go to our view our, um, our XIB we click on our storyboard here I'll search for our scroll view now placing the scroll view here it will be full size there we go now where we would link up our connections here in our file, um, files owner which we do not have what we simply do is click on our view controller so by clicking on our view controller now it is linked up to our view controller .h and .m which will enable us to show our connections so if you just look here in our outlets we have our scroller which we created as our IB outlet so we just link that up there. Go straight to build and run and now once it's loaded in the simulator you see here but just by looking on the right side of the view in our simulator here you can see we are scrolling so that's simply how you create scroll views in storyboards so it's understandable with the file zone missing so all you simply do just to recap on it click our view controller of the view you are, you are creating the outlets for and you'll see that the actions and outlets will appear just like you are doing when you click file zone so I hope this helps you guys out with your apps or projects at the moment make sure you like and favorite this video as we get a wider audience and it helps more people learn from our tutorials so if you haven't, make sure you leave us a comment or send us a message if you want to leave us any feedback or if you want to suggest any tutorials yourself. But most importantly, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, check out our apps which are currently on the App Store just by simply searching Geeky Lemon. And if you haven't, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you all next week in our next tutorial. Hey guys, Aaron here. If you need help with your projects or haven't got the time to create that perfect app idea, Head over to our website where you can post your project on our project board for hundreds of developers to see. Or earn a little bit of money by completing projects posted by others.
please support us by liking us on Facebook and following us on Twitter. All the links will be in the description below as well as the full source code for this tutorial and all our others on our website at geeklem.com and check out all our apps by simply searching Geeklemon on the App Store.